The city was on the Arbutus corridor today, eager to show off their plans for the newly acquired rail line. As Tina Lovegreen explains, residents were also on hand to get a look at what the city has planned. This was the site of the Arbutus corridor almost two years ago when CP Rail brought in heavy equipment and began tearing down community gardens that were on its unused railway. The destruction of gardens was part of a long dispute with the city of Vancouver over the skinny and valuable stretch of land. Transportation corridor. Fast forward to today. The city has drawn up a new plan for the 42 acres of open space and was excited to tell residents about the proposal at a pop-up city hall. And so over the next year, we're going to design uh, walking, cycling, and, uh, and a corridor, and also leave room for streetcar uh, one day in the future. The Greenway dream became reality earlier this week, when the city announced that after 20 years of fighting, the two sides had finally reached a deal. This is a historic agreement and a once-in-a-generation opportunity for our city. This is kilometers of public space, space that's accessible uh, through our city for all residents to use. The city bought the land for $55 million, with the agreement that the two sides will split the revenue from the sale of any land that is not needed for the transportation corridor. So far, the feedback from the community on the new plan has been positive. It creates real safe space. Um, so my daughter, I want to go riding with her. She can go ride her bike on this path. It would be safe. And yeah, it's just something we feel is, a really, uh, is like a long time in coming. So we're, we're really excited about it. Certainly, at least having the opportunity to walk and bike along such a great route is wonderful. Anything's better than what it is now. Uh, it's just not safe, uh, bumpy. Some members of the community are concerned about the future possibility of trains running through these tracks once again, even if it is light rail. They say the area is not big enough to accommodate both streetcar and greenway, while others are concerned about the number of stops it would bring and foot traffic. Tina Lovegreen, CBC News, Vancouver.